Hey guys, I'm here with Asif Cohen. He is the founder of Solitaire Bliss. They are a company, I guess, in the gaming niche. I'm not sure what the niche you'd call it, but they're definitely in the high traffic, the high traffic <laughs> game. Uh, it's really, really, yep. really interesting business. And um, Asaf, I, I'd love, um, you know, for, for you guys that are watching, you know, this is really for my, you know, your opportunity to hear about Asaf's experience of, of working with, with us at Pearl Lemon. It has been a campaign that we didn't get the result that we were looking for, but, you know, um, Asaf has kindly given up some of his time to at least talk about his experience of, of how we found us, of working with us, and, and you know, you can, you can make your own judgment as to how you feel about it. So, Asaf, could you talk a little bit about the challenge that you've got at Solitaire Bliss that led you to go on a journey to find a partner to work with? Sure. So first of all, we tried a lot of other methods. So it's not the first method that didn't work. Uh, we did try dozens of other ways to get links and we did get some links yeah. uh, with you guys and with other guys and everything. Um, the big challenge is that the competition is extremely hard, uh, very well established uh, websites. And Many times, uh, websites on the first page get additional links just because they are on the first page. So it's very hard to chase them. Yeah. So, you know, some big uh, newspaper makes a list of 10 things to do while at home. And they just Google and they give links to the guys on the first page. So we tried to chase them for a long time. And this is why we came to Pearl Lemon to try another uh, method, yeah. like the web to links and everything that was uh, promised by uh, Pearl Lemon. And what, what in that period when you were looking for an agency, I, I, I'm assuming, and I didn't ask you, that you spoke to a couple of companies, at least uh, uh, what, 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 what was important in your decision in deciding to work with Pearl Lemon as opposed to another, uh, uh, another agency? Yeah, so a few things. Uh, first of all, the reviews uh, were good. Uh, which I understand why, because you did a good job. Second of all, uh, the company did have a face, like your face and the guys that work. Many times when you hire an SEO company, you don't know who will do the work. Okay. And you get like an anonymous guy somewhere in the East or in Europe. And, you know, I've, I did work with other companies before, and it's like it's... Um, you never know who did the job. Okay. And here we, we have a face and, you know, you have a lot of videos and a lot of communication going on and you always know, you know, even if it's not working, who is the guy you can talk to yeah. and, you know, fix the stuff or not fix the stuff if, if there's nothing to do. Yeah, uh, yeah. So this was a main concern when, when getting a, An agency. a new SEO company. Yeah. And, and how, in terms of the experience, once, of course, you know, you, you signed up and started paying. Was that was was what you saw and reflected in kind of the service and communication? Did it, did it meet your expectation or, or not really? So you, you did what you promised to. You, you know the competition was so hard that we didn't make effect. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't see any negative downside to trying that. So there was no penalties and no downside. We just didn't make it. Yeah. Uh, the communication was clear. So I was always have someone to talk with, either you or sales or the technical guys, um, always responding to emails and always, you know, working with the style sheets and everything, with spreadsheets, sorry. No, no, with the no. Spreadsheets, absolutely. like online spreadsheets. And I was always, I always knew what is going on. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. This is one thing I liked. Yeah. And then do you, um, in, in terms of, other companies or agencies you've worked with, how how has that experience been as well? If you compare other companies that you work with on the SEO side, what has it been like once you've signed and they've onboarded you? How has it been? Yeah, so the onboarding was nice. It was very programmatic. Like you had the one, two, three, four, like the steps. Yeah. It was nice. Another thing I liked is that the, the Jose, I think that the technical uh, SEO, not the yeah. technical, the link building stuff. Yeah. Uh, you did ask for approval, and I didn't give approval for everything. I did approval yeah. for like fifty percent. 
Yeah. And it was nice because other company, they just go and build links. And this is harmful because I did get penalties before yeah. with other companies. And here I could prevent this stuff. Um, Up front. You know, they offered some links that I didn't like and I stopped them before they did it. And it's important because, again, it's easy to go and build like thousands of links uh, you know, low quality links without without approval. Yeah. Uh, especially when you see that there are no results and the competition is hard, and nothing is going on. So it's easier to see. Okay, let's keep the client and build 1,000 low quality links. Yeah. And here, even when we saw that nothing happens for a few months, you still ask me, is it okay to build these those links or these kind of links? So, and I could stop that. Yeah, and I appreciate that. Okay, yeah. okay, perfect. And and so, did you? Did, would it be fair to say then that transparency was something that we were quite good at? I, I my understanding is, is that yep. sometimes yep. agencies, you're like, I don't, I don't really know what's going on, or maybe I get a report, but but what happened in between? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they just do whatever they want. You know, they they think they do the right thing, but. Once you know a bit about SEO, you know that not all links are good. Like yeah. some links will harm your site, and you want to intervene and prevent guys from building those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So, is it fair to say that, of course, as 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 as, as guys, who, whoever's listening, you know, this hasn't been a, a space where we've got the commercial result we were looking for with with, with the SAF and Solitaire Bliss. Unfortunately, that that has happened. But do you, would you feel still comfortable? recommending Pearl Lemon as a company for another business to, to, to try out, to work with, to see how it goes? Sure, yeah. Okay. Of course. All right, amazing. I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will, you know, I, I, the, the competition is so hard that I was extremely surprised if you get something. Yeah. But, you know, I, I was trying so many things that I thought about, okay, let's do that. I imagine that if I was trying like a smaller uh, type of business like that was with fewer competition. Do you want to, for the benefit of the audience, talk a little bit about the traffic and the level of competition you're working against so people understand the reference yeah. point? Yeah, sure, yeah. So being number one or two or three on our niche means tens of millions of visits every month and ranking on the top five, 10,000 Top sites on the web, so maybe two thousand, maybe one or two thousand spot on Alexa yeah. or similar web all these ranks of sites. So being number one, two or three means I imagine ten to fifteen million monthly visits. Wow! Uh, yeah, yeah. We are already ranking high. We're ranking for number nine and ten. So getting this one or two levels up, it's extremely hard. You'll need ex hundreds of extremely high yeah uh, yeah high value links and it's not something you can do yeah absolutely months of campaign yeah absolutely so guys uh, you know this is just if you're wondering uh, the size of competition and traffic that we're talking these are these are quite incredible numbers and you know asaf as he should is is really looking to see if there's something that can give him the the the, the extra spur and yeah, and, and unfortunately, of course, we weren't able to do it in the in, in the eight. Well, no, the twelve weeks I think that we had together, um, I believe. But it's it's really good yeah. to know at least that you would feel happy enough recommending us to a business as 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 probably most of them are in a slightly less less competitive niche. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And you know, if I had double or three times more budget, I guess I, we can talk and maybe get something else going on but yeah in the limits of my budget this is what we can do and it's okay yeah absolutely absolutely yeah. i completely understand and, and and guys you know you know budgets are a real thing and of course um in a in a campaign like asaf's what what i admire about him is that he's scrappy he is he is an entrepreneur and it's about seeing how he can make the best returns from the budget he's got he you know you even just by depending upon who you are that's listening you hear some of the things he talks about in terms of links traffic volume alexa he does know his stuff so um you know he's got a, a decent degree of sophistication a very high degree of sophistication that he brings to seo because seo is his bread and butter in this in, in this context so um is is there anything that maybe 
you want to add that you think has been positive about us that maybe I've not asked you about that, that, that you could perhaps tell the listening audience? Um, I think I said enough good things <laughs> already. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. No, don't uh, worry. I think, you know, transparency is good. And you did as promised. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. the price was reasonable. I think everything was good. Okay. Just okay. needed much more to move the to move the site uphill. Yeah. Next time. Uh, next time. Uh, hopefully we can talk again. <laughs> Look, we're always hopefully here. We can talk again in a few months when I'm number one and. Yeah. You know, yeah. Absolutely. If you, you know when you're number one, then you don't need us. You're like Deepak. You got to do what this guy did. Or maybe you're not number one, and you can say, Deepak, have you have you learned anything? And you know, all all, all I will say, um, Asaf, is that you know from our side, we are literally. Hopefully, as you can tell, just by the fact that I'm here on this call with you, I, I always try and learn and see what else we can bring to the table. And, you know, there's SEOs that I still get advice from when there's things that I don't understand. And this is a good example where I've already begun asking a couple of people, what would you do that differently or, you know, what have we got wrong? So, you know, I, I do hope that you don't, you know, that, that, that you get to number one, but in the inst- soon and in the instance that, you know, <laughs> It doesn't happen in the next three months. Please do just reach out and ask the question, Deepak. I'm looking for another tool. Has anything changed, or what could we do differently? And and you know, I probably will have some new ideas by then. So, <laughs> listen. Sure. Thank you so much for your time, uh, my friend. Um, yeah, no, that's it, really. Thank you for your time. I'm I'm of course here. Eon's here, and um, I really, really do hope that from next Monday. You hit the ground running with this with this email, dude. Uh, with with the outreach guy, and he's like, you know, killing it for you. I hope so. Yeah, perfect. Right, talk to you soon.